Hi all, this is Mohit Rathi and in this video I would be showing you guys that how do you go ahead and buy a SSL certificate for a uh, very much affordable price. Okay, if you see my website right over here, so currently it is showing it has not secured. That is because the SSL certificate has expired and uh, that is the reason why I had decided, okay, let me just go ahead and record the entire process. Now guys, you can purchase your SSL certificate. Let's say you have purchased the hosting from GoDaddy, then you can purchase the SSL certificate from GoDaddy. Otherwise, let's say if you have purchased your hosting from hostinger.com, you can also purchase the SSL certificate from hostinger.com. So if I click on SSL, uh, right over here, I can go ahead and purchase my SSL certificate, which is going to cost me somewhere around, uh, I think so 900 rupees on hostinger.com. But in today's video, I'm not going to purchase it from uh, uh, hostinger.com. That is from the place where I purchased my domain name. Uh, our hosting are not going to purchase it from the same place because it is quite expensive. I know 900 rupees is fine, but still I would call it as quite expensive, especially if you go to GoDaddy, the cost of the SSL certificate would be somewhere around 1,500 rupees. Hostgator will be a little more higher. So I'm going to tell you an alternative today. This alternative is very important, uh, but however, this alternative requires a lot of technical steps. So I want you guys to watch this video twice. Only then you will be able to connect to this video. So we are going to go to this website called as SSLS.com. So this is the website. I'm going to go to this website. Now, once I go to this website, there are different type of certificates over here. So usually the one which we go ahead with is positive SSL. Now positive SSL is available on GoDaddy for 1,500 rupees. It is available on Hostinger for 900 rupees. But if you see the price over here, it says $4. Okay, but hold on. It is not $4. Uh, basically, $4 is what if you buy it for four years. Okay, so let us see what is the price in the checkout. But apart from this positive SSL, these are the different type of SSLs. All of this is not required, guys. All of this comes with the company name in the browser. That is, before uh, this SSL, the company name would be there, etc. So we are going to go with a simple positive SSL, which is also available on GoDaddy and Hostinger, but for a higher price. Now, when I'm buying it for four years, that time it is uh, $4. But let's say I'm going to buy it only for one year. So when, once I'm buying it for one year, it is somewhere close to $7. And then I'm going to click on checkout now. So once I click on checkout now, it is going to ask uh, your mail address so that you can go ahead and create account. So let us quickly go ahead and create a new account over here. Uh, it will ask you for all of these details. So just enter all of these details and make the payment. Once you make the payment, I'll show you the procedure ahead. Great. So if you guys see over here, the payment is already done. And now once the payment is done, you'll have to click on my SSL certificate. So all of your SSL certificates would reflect over here. Now you will have to go ahead and activate the SSL certificate guys. Now while activating the SSL certificate, you need to also prove the ownership of mohitrathi.in. That means you need to give a confirmation that mohitrathi.in is a domain name that belongs to you. Okay. So what are you supposed to do is click on activate. Once you click on activate, it is going to ask you for the domain name on which you want to install this SSL certificate. So I'm going to write www.mohitrathi.in is going to be the domain name. And uh, once I write the domain name over here, it covers both www and non www. So both is covered over here. So both of this is covered. And there are going to be basically three files. I want you guys to make a note of it. Note of it. There are going to be how many files? There are going to be three files that are going to be downloaded. The first file is going to be called as private key. So right over here, let me just make a note. So the first file is going to be called as private key. And then you have the second file, which will be called as the CA bundle file. And the third file is going to be called as the uh, certificate. Okay, these are the three different files that you will be getting. Now, private key is something that you cannot have access to later. Private key you are going to get in this step. If I click on this, the private key is going to be downloaded. So as soon as I click on this, so the private key is going to be downloaded. So I'm going to create a new folder over here. I'll call the folder has Mohit Rathi SSL certificate is my folder name. And then uh, I'm going to save the file right over here. So this is nothing but the private key. The first file that has been saved is called as the private key. And then I'm going to click on almost there. Once I click on almost there, the other two files are going to be received a little later. Once you are going to verify that you own this particular domain name, how do you verify it? You can upload a validation file, but this procedure, this procedure is a very much technical guys. I'm not going to get into uploading a validation file because then I will have to log in into the place from where I had purchased the domain name, not even hosting the domain name place. So I'm not going to get into that. What I will do is I'll click on receive an email at the domain inbox. So that is nothing but I'll have to receive an email in one of these domain names. 
uh, one of this email boxes that is admin at mohitrathi.in webmaster at mohitrathi.in are one of this i have already shown you guys that how do you create an email account in your c panel that is if you click on hosting once you click on hosting if you click on your manage hosting you will find something called as email account so you'll have to get into email accounts and there is where you create your email account so i have already created an email account called as admin at mohitrathi.in okay so i'm going to click on this right over here and i'm going to send that receive an email at admin at mohitrathi.in and then i'm going to click on submit so once i click on submit it will uh, take somewhere around uh, five minutes for me to receive the email i'll have to verify that and once i have verified it the certificate is going to be issued certificate will consist of two different files that is the ca bundle file and the certificate file so we'll wait for just five minutes for uh, us to receive the mail over here okay it has already come great so if you see this is the mail that you are going to get over here guys now once you get this mail uh, this is the validation code i'm supposed to copy this particular validation code and then uh, i'll have to click right over here once i click right over here i'll have to paste the code and then click on next once i click on next so the verification is done now once the verification is done within 5 minutes uh, i'm going to be issued a ssl certificate so let us wait for 5 minutes you are going to receive the ssl certificate on the ma other mail id that is i had mentioned mohitrathi.in at gmail.com so i am going to get my ssl certificate over here otherwise you can also download it from here itself if you click on my ssl currently it would be showing you as pending but within 2 minutes it will it is going to show you as active since i have already verified my email address now i have verified that mohitrathi.in belongs to me because understand one thing admin at mohitrathi is a email account that can be created only if you have the domain name mohitrathi.in okay so that is how it works the other method was uploading a validation file i didn't choose the other method so let us wait for 2 to 3 minutes and then it will show as active so once it shows as active we can download our certificate and then i'll show you how to put it in your c panel again so let's wait for 2 minutes until it shows active so great if you see i have just reloaded the page after 5 minutes now my ssl certificate is showing active i'm going to click on download right over here so once i click on download then again a zip file is going to be downloaded i'm going to unzip this file i'm saving it in the same folder so let us go ahead and click on save so once i click on save show in finder so let me just quickly go over here let me unzip this file uh, right over here let me just unzip it great this will consist of two different files one is the ca file so this is called as the ca file guys and this is called as the certificate file and the first one which was downloaded earlier uh, that was called as your private key so i'm going to unzip this as well so this is going to be my private key file now these are the three different files that you must have so once you have this three different files you see your ssl certificate has been purchased from a different website and your hosting is in a different website so my hosting is where my hosting is in hostinger now i'll have to go back to my hostinger account once i go back to my hostinger account i'll click on hosting manage i'll get redirected to the c panel c panel and also called as the edge panel over here i'm going to search for ssl okay i'm going to search for ssl once i search for ssl then uh, right over here i can click on get it now and then i'll get that ssl certificate for 900 rupees but remember guys the ssl certificate that i bought from ssls.com it has costed me only somewhere around 513 rupees so i have already saved 300 rupees and i am also making a video for you guys okay so if you see over here these are the three things that has to be filled as i told you this will be the three different things now let me just quickly go back over here so first we are going to select the private key so i'm going to double click on this just don't try to read what exactly is the private key just copy this put it across right over here all of this are nothing but codes so once we put it across right over here two more files ca bundle file and the certificate file so let me go back over here and this is the ca bundle file i'm going to open it with notepad file so you guys can click on right click open with notepad file so see this was the ca bundle file i'm going to paste this right over here the ca bundle file let me go back over here and this is the certificate file these are the three different files so open with i'm going to click on other once i click on other i'm going to select notepad file so in mac it is text edit so i'm going to search for text edit open this is the certificate i'm going to copy the certificate right over here and i'm going to paste it and then click on install so once i click on install this is how i'm going to install ssl certificate manually okay so the reason that why i went to ssls.com so that i could save some money 300 bucks 
is what I saved. So this is successfully installed. Okay, now once this is successfully installed, uh, I'll go over here, I'll reload the page. Over here, I would still not see something called as secure because for that, I'll have to log in into the backend. Okay, it, is al it has already come. But if in case you're not able to see still HTTPS that is secured, that is because you'll have to install a plugin called as really simple SSL. So if you install really simple SSL, then it gets redirected to HTTPS. Okay, so remember, this is the entire procedure, guys. This is the entire procedure of how do you go about it. SSLS.com is place from where I purchased the SSL certificates. Now, uh, you might charge your client 1,500 rupees for the SSL certificate, but you can come down to SSLS.com. You can buy a SSL certificate only for, uh, it has costed me 513 rupees. So 513 rupees was only somewhere close to $6. And once it is done, you see over here, now my website shows secure. So for one year, SSL certificate is done. Okay. If you buy it directly from hostinger.com, this entire procedure of CA bundle file, certificate file, and the private key is not going to be there into the picture. But I want you to learn this technique because this is very important. It helps you to save a lot of money. Okay. Let's say if you're charging your client 1,500, but if you can get the certificate at 500 rupees, then why not? You should definitely go ahead and try that. And the plugin that I was talking about is nothing but it's already installed in my backend. And, um, so that is nothing but really simple SSL. I've also made a video on really simple SSL that how do you go ahead and activate really simple SSL. Really simple SSL. So now to quickly just wind it. Okay. Uh, I'll just search for SSL. Which is the plugin. Yeah, SSL insecure content fixer are one of those plugins. Any one of those plugins should be fine. So now instead of uh, not secure, it is showing as secure. SSL certificate is successfully installed on my website. So now just to quickly rewind back that what are the different things that you're supposed to do first, just go to SSLS.com and then uh, buy the SSL certificate by paying by debit card, credit card or PayPal or whatever it is. Once you buy it uh, immediately, they're going to be the first thing that is going to come is called as your private key. Okay. Remember you cannot get access to private key afterwards. So make sure you save your private key in one of the folders. Once the private key is done, you'll have to click uh, create an email account called as admin at your domain name.com. Why is that email account required? So that you can go back and verify. Okay, you can go back and verify that you own this particular domain name. Only once you verify, the other two files are going to be released to you. That is nothing but the CA bundle file and the certificate file. Once all the three files are ready, now there is no use of SSLS.com. If you want, you can close this. You can come back to this after one year when you want to renew your SSL certificate. Then you'll have to go to your hosting panel. Once you go to your hosting panel and then uh, click on the domain hosting, search for SSL and put across all the three files. Once you put across all the three files, the work is not yet done. The other thing is log in into the backend of your WordPress panel, install the plugin really simple SSL. And then you will see that your website shows a secure connection. Okay, so you might be wondering Mohit, you just saved uh, 300 rupees. You could have just directly purchased it from hostinger.com and uh, you could have done it 300 rupees saving is, uh, but guys, it is important to learn. Okay. And try to do it for two to three clients. Once you install SSL certificate for two to three clients like this, that time, uh, that time you will be a perfectionist, perfectionist in it. Uh, if you buy it from GoDaddy, if you have enough money, you want to spend 1,500, go ahead and spend it. You need not do this entire process altogether. But yeah, learning is always good. And at least for one of the websites, try to do this procedure. Okay. So that's it from my end on how to install SSL certificates. Thank you everyone. And if you think that this video was uh, useful, just try to save this video. You can also copy the link and uh, save it in your notepad file. Or if you're watching it on Instagram, you have the save option. If you're on YouTube that time, you can save it into one of your collections. Okay. And next time, whenever you're installing a SSL certificate, try to do something like this. It is going to save you some money also. Okay. So thank you for watching.